Today we have a little bit of a fight between the Hourglass Mineral Veil and the IT Cosmetics number 50 serum. Let's see who wins this fight. Hi everybody! So I recently finally got my hands on the Hourglass Veil, the Mineral Primer. Everybody is raving about that and especially for oily skin this seems to be for many ladies a holy grail and what i'm using in these last weeks is actually from it cosmetics the number 50 serum collagen veil anti-aging primer and for some reason i thought because they both contain the word veil and they have kind of a similar milky, creamy consistency that I thought I'd like to compare these two. The IT Cosmetics number 50 serum contains one ounce and retails for $48. This is apparently not the full size I got. The Hourglass Mineral Veil retails for $52, so they're both in the same price range. It doesn't really help you if one of these is a dupe of the other price-wise. They're both cruelty-free, which is very important to me. Both of these primers claim that they reduce the appearance of pores, of fine lines. And both of them also claim, well, this is what primers do, obviously, to create a smooth canvas for application of makeup. Both of them also claim that they would reduce the appearance of pores. I could need that because I've got some pores going on on my face, I tell you. So what I did then is applying for a whole week on one side of my face the Hourglass Mineral Veil and on the other the IT Cosmetics number 50 serum to see what is the result and I wanted to do a full week because I wanted to have different situations of life because on some days you know you're sweat and it's hot and another day maybe not so I had really all kinds of I was very active or I was cooking or I was lazy I was going to the gym all these things so I really wanted to see how do these two guys compare the first thing is applying the product. The IT Cosmetics is thinner than the Hourglass and it's like a very, very thin lotion you apply. Your skin will be feeling very hydrated and it also has a really lovely citrus scent, although if you have sensitive skin, fragrance is actually a no-go. The Hourglass I find I don't think it's unpleasant, but it's a little bit of a like chemical scent to me. And it applies a little different. It's a little thicker consistency, a little bit more creamy than the IT Cosmetics. Okay, what I on each single day saw, I looked in the mirror, compared the two sides, and what happened? Okay, I have combination skin with an oily T-zone. The side with the Hourglass was holding up so much better for me because it really made the pores appear a little better and it stayed more matte than the side with IT Cosmetics. That was visibly for me much more shiny and greasy and did not help me at all to counteract the greasiness I have going on on my T-zone. So. What is my verdict? These two are really pretty different. They're not as I thought, maybe dupes and very similar to each other. And I would say the IT Cosmetics is much more of a skincare product than of a makeup primer. Many women that have dry skin even use a moisturizer as a primer. I mean, at the end, we just want that the foundation goes on smooth and even and not blotchy and for that reason this is an awesome product and the name by the way number 50 is not because it contains SPF or 50 which would be lovely but it doesn't it is 50 ingredients which I'm really torn about there is inside 10 essential oils 10 botanicals 
30 antioxidants like vitamin A, E, B5 and vitamin E, all these kinds of things. But if you check the ingredient list, it is so long. So on one side, I feel like it sounds pretty amazing, all the stuff that's inside. But on the other, I feel like I, I tend to like more products that have not a long ingredient list, you know what I mean? Like only five ingredients because I feel like this is a cleaner product and just gives me what I need. So I'm pretty torn about if this is a plus or a negative and like I mentioned, the fragrance about it, fragrances, essential oils, that could be actually a skin irritant for you if you have sensitive skin. I'm lucky with that, I don't have sensitive skin and I really love a citrus scent, but this could be a very negative point for you if you have really sensitive skin. Other than that, I recommend this highly for ladies with dry skin. For those, this might work really great. For those that have combination skin or oily skin like me, the Hourglass Mineral Veil really is nice. And I think when this little bad boy is empty, I need to get me the full size. Because for me, this is working awesome. Also, both of them claim to reduce the appearance of fine lines. I did really not see such thing. Maybe I'm too old and maybe that works if you have really your first tiny little fine lines, but I did not see such thing. That would be amazing. Did not work. Not for me. Yeah, that was my little roundup, my little fight, this one against this one. And I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have tried either one of these bad boys if you like him or if you're intrigued to try now one of these. All right, ladies, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And if you don't want to miss new videos, please subscribe and see you later, ladies. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen.